Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and today I'd like to share with you some of the Sarah Coventry jewelry uh, that I have been thrifting. Uh, I have started focusing on collecting Sarah Coventry, and so here are a few pieces that I have purchased. First of all, I have this set of uh, a brooch, beautiful condition, says Sarah Cup right here, um, called White Petals. And it's just an incredible condition for something that uh, is uh, so old. I mean, it's not centuries old or anything. And then uh, with the brooch are the white petal earrings. Um, very wearable, very summery, but um, I could pull these off. And these are clip-on earrings. Not, uh, you know, a nice snap to them, but not... Uh, too tight and they are signed here on the uh, well, better put it right side up so you believe me <laughs> signed here on the uh, back of the earring so that's a, a beautiful set that um, went for an amazingly low price um, thanks to Kathy in West Virginia um, that and the shipping was so affordable um, uh, it, it was a great, a great uh, purchase. Then I got um, a couple of Sarah Coventry uh, crosses. Um, they don't have the um, chains that go with them, but that's okay. Um, you know, this was a, an a exploration purchase. I wasn't too sure. Um, and the first cross is um, a 1977 limited edition gold tone cross. I haven't tried to clean this or see if this is supposed to be a specific color, but the three pearls are there in the top. Um, very wearable cross. The chain just, just attaches here. And it's signed uh, limited edition 1977 copyright Sarah here on the back. And with it, I purchased this cross. I loved the design of it. I thought it was amazing. Um, this is a 1976 limited edition. So it's marked here, Sarakov, uh, a little bit weightier. Unfortunately, I didn't notice um, at the time that it was missing the green um, enameling or whatever you would call that that fit in here so it's not in uh, good condition um, that the price was uh, low enough that I don't regret the purchase but I certainly will be on the lookout for uh, a full cross with the uh, actual chain that goes with it and then as a bonus the sender sent me this remembrance stick pin and I had uh, around the same time ordered the remembrance brooch from someone else in the US and the there was some problems with the shipping so the, the actual the purchase actually fell through um, but I have the, um, the stick pin marked uh, C on the back and I know where I can get a uh, a brooch in excellent condition so and there's lots of them for sale uh, online um, because I had the stick pin and was expecting the brooch I found a set of the remembrance earrings um, online and purchased those with uh, uh, excellent price and excellent shipping and um, certainly would recommend uh, this um, this is Wayne Smith in Summit Hill, Pennsylvania that I got these from and I got a few pieces at the same time. So there's the earrings. So I'm slowly getting a remembrance um, set together. Then I was in Tweed, Ontario and they have a lovely store called Used Again, and she has quite, Juanita is the owner, she has an amazing set of vintage everything, um, but she had uh, 
an amazing set of vintage Sarah Coventry. Um, and so I purchased a couple brooches. This brooch, um, if I just grab my information, this brooch is called um, Golden Era. And you can see it, you know, the uh, antique gold tone, a lovely sort of glass cabochon in the center that resembles the precious stone pearls and uh, amber rhinestones. And it's marked on the back here, um, Sarah Coventry made in Canada, because this was a special piece made in Canada. Um, there is a similar pin that was made in the United States called Catherine. Um, and the Catherine pin is silver tone with uh, purplish uh, stones. So this is um, much more fall colored. Um, I think uh, I, I like this one. I doubt um, I'll be able to find earrings to match it as easily uh, as I would if it were the uh, American one. Uh, at the same store, I used it again. I picked up another brooch. Uh, this one's called Valencia, and it's got these lovely sort of pinkish orange uh, cabochons. And again, this is a made in Canada piece. There's uh, Sarah Coventry here in Canada on the back. Um, excellent, excellent condition. Uh, the thing, Sarah Coventry pieces generally uh, are just so well made that the, the, the finishes are pristine when you find them. There's a few that um, I've read about where the, the plating flakes, that's, you know, some that have that problem, but uh, none, with, none of the pieces I've collected so far have that. Um, uh, again, from Wayne Smith, where I got the Remembrance earrings, I got the set of earrings to match um, the Valencia pin. So being able to, to uh, collect sets is um, one of my desires. And uh, to find affordable things shipped from the States uh, is a bit of a challenge because a single piece can cost 10 or $11 a U.S. to have shipped. But the shipping was um, much, much less for the uh, three pieces that I got from Wayne. So here are the clip-on earrings. Nice firm clip in the back and signed right here on the back. Uh, copyright Sarah Cuff. And then the third piece I got from Wayne Smith um, was this lovely candy, I can't remember the full name, it's candy something brooch. And I've seen the earrings recently, I'm watching some that are uh, for sale. But just a, a beautiful, fun um, candy colored brooch. Uh, silver tone and signed here, Sarah. Um, so I'll uh, try to remember to look up the correct name, the full name of it, and post it as part of this video. So a really fun piece. Like, uh, can you see wearing this at Easter? This kind of like egg shaped <laughs> and with earrings. Um, last but not least, on my trip to Tweed, when I got the two Sarah Coventry brooches, I also got this uh, pewter brooch. And it's uh, two rabbits in a garden surrounded by a heart made out of um, branches and ivy leaves, I guess you would say. And this is another um, area that I collect. Uh, this is um, a 1987 seagull pewter of Canada brooch. And uh, she had quite a few of these, and her prices were absolutely excellent. So I hate to, I'm, uh, I could just uh, spend and spend and spend when I'm in Juanita's store. Um, luckily, uh, it's a three-hour drive, so I go um, a few times in the summer, and maybe, uh, maybe I'll be able to get up there again before Thanksgiving. Um, so here's the other brooch that I bought at the same time. It's not Sarah Coventry, but um, I thought I'd include it in this. Um, in this lot. I've hoped you enjoyed seeing my recent Sarah Coventry purchases. There will be more to come for sure. Thank you uh, and I hope you continue to have a great day.